everyone, it's me Namratha and welcome to my second video. Uh, today I'll be showing you guys how I do my everyday makeup. Uh, for me less is more, so that's why I would go for a very natural and minimalistic look. Uh, yes, and that's what I'll be showing you today in this video. Uh, before starting off, it is very important for you to do your skincare routine, which I have done already. And if you'd like me to show you a separate skincare routine video of mine, then please comment down below and I would be more than happy to do it. Uh, firstly, I'll be using my Guerlain Metroids Pearl uh, Foundation Base. Um, it helps to even up your skin tone and also helps to hold your makeup for a very long time. Oh, look at that! There's real pearl inside! Yay! I'm just gonna spray it all over my face and my forehead. It's really important you spread them all over your face properly. After my Guerlain Foundation Base, I'll be using my Shiseido Perfect Refining Foundation in number 0. 60 and you know what unfortunately this foundation has been discontinued damn it I'll be using this beauty blender by Christian Dior just to put my foundation all over my face So after my foundation, I always uh, prefer doing my eyebrows first. So I'm using my NYX uh, number 03 Brunette Eyebrow Gel. That's a really beautiful tint and it's a very long lasting tint for your eyebrows. And I'm using my Laura Mercier Eyebrow Brush uh, to apply that. I always brush my eyebrows before I apply my tint. It's very important. So they're nicely shaped. I'll be using uh, my Christian Dior Skin Flash 002 Concealer. So I'm, I'm using my flat brush just to go through under my eyebrow lines. So it helps to clean my underlying eyebrow lines and gives you that arch kind of look as well. And I just try to blend with my fingers. That's very comfortable. It looks very nice and clean. So look at that, look at the difference between this eyebrow and this eyebrow. Can you see that nice and neat clean arch right over there? Uh, to contour my face, I'll be using Christian Dior number 004 Sculpt Palette. Because um, it's everyday makeup, I don't want to use very uh, dramatic kind of contouring palette or a highlighting palette. So this is very simple and very minimum. So these are the two colours. And it's quite neutral colour, so everyone can use it. And I'm going to use Christian Dior number 16 brush. Can you see the arch over there? to use this contouring palette. So because of this arch, it's gonna give me a perfect contouring shape around my cheek and around my forehead as well. So that's that's a really good brush to use. So I always tend to start from the cheekbones, just right under the cheekbone. I try to tuck in my cheek, just to apply it properly. And then the other side with the same rules, forehead. Can you see that? It's just perfect. And it's not too confusing as well because you only have two options. I'm just going to put a little bit around my forehead. Just around there and just some around there. Just another lot. See that? And that? That's what we're trying to get. And yet again, I'll be using my Skin Flash uh, Christian Dior uh, 002 Concealer. That's a really long name. <laughs> this concealer I'll be using under my eye area just to conceal any dark circles. Cheeks, 
next I'll be using uh, my Morphe blush up palette it's quite difficult to open but there we go it's been done so the good thing about this palette is you have a variety of colors to choose from and today I'll be using this one here just because it's nice and peachy color and it's very neutral and would go with anything you're wearing so that's what I do and I never put them straight away so I always do a little dab right there so it's not too much in the on the brush itself and then do an apple cheek so smile slightly and then apply um, for my eyes I'll be using Kristen Dior number 090 um, mascara I only like to use mascara for my eyes because obviously my eyes are very sensitive and very watery so I don't tend to put my eye makeup every day so just mascara just to give that definition for my beautiful oriental Asian eyes so you can already see that difference between this eye and this eye So for my lips, I'll be using Givenchy Lip Balm just to hydrate my lips first and then I'll be using my Body Shop 030 Matte Lipstick and as you can see the colour, it's like very beigey, neutrally kind of colour and that is, that's what I'm looking for for my everyday look. So I'll be using my lip balm. This is my favourite as you can see, it's nearly gone all over my lips and up the car. This is the only product I use from Givenchy and actually a serum as well. It's a really lovely brand. See that? It helps to bring out your own natural color as well. And my lip gloss. I love the smell of this lip gloss. It smells like fruit. Oh, so nice. But blend all over my lips. See? I feel like I want to eat this lip gloss. It's so good. The smell, so amazing. Yep, yeah, that's my lips. So this is my MAC highlighter. It's a soft and gentle, gentle highlighter. Normally people use the highlighter in the middle of the makeup, but what I tend to do is I finish up my makeup with the highlighter because I still like that shine look around my nose and around my cheek to highlight more. So that's the end product I'll be using. So just before that, I'll be using my Shishado number 40 um, mattifying powder because I've got more combination, oily combination skin. So that helps to mattify my skin throughout the day which is just amazing so that's what I'll be using first and ended up with my highlighter so as I've said I'm using my Shiseido mattifying powder and I'll be using my um, Kristen Dior uh, number 15 brush just because it's, it's got a really nice flat surface so when I'm dabbing it in on the powder it's just sticking there and it's easy to dab it in on your face as well which helps to obviously mattify my skin and hold the makeup for a long time and it's very good way to apply with these kind of brushes so that's Kristen Dior number 15 so let me just use that as I said before just a little trick to do that and I always get my t-zone shiny so I'll just put around there not a lot just a little bit nose just a little bit around my neck and that's all I need after that I'll be using my soft and gentle highlighter with the same brush so I'll be going round there same little trick that and just on my cheek bone the high cheekbone and same little trick around there as well and on top of my bridge of the nose right there that's like my around my forehead around my cheek and I'm going to take my little eyeshadow brush take a little bit more of these highlighters and just around the cheek so this helps to give my skin a beautiful radiance like a very nice luminous kind of look so there we go it's all done 
this is how I do my everyday makeup and if you do like this video then please 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 don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and leave your comments down below I'm aiming to do uh, one video each week um, so let's hope that I can do that so yeah